Hey you guys, it's Ashley again. Okay, so this is part two of my miscarriage videos and I ran out of time in the other one to read the poem so I'll try to read that at the end of um, this video. But, um, so this is kind of the dirty details of what happened during the series, you know, like the real miscarriage. I found out that Thursday that I had had the miscarriage and I was like so distraught and I mean like I was bawling in the office I couldn't even talk hardly you know my first question was well when can we try again I know that's awful but it was and um, you know she said I needed to make a decision she'd give me a few days to think out think it over um, the baby had passed away at six weeks one day so I had what they called a missed miscarriage and those are quite rare um, not very many people have that kind um, leave it to me to have the rare kind that's just seems how my life goes but um uh, so she told me that my body was probably starting to try to miscarry on its own but you know that I'd probably need a DNC or whatever um so I went home and I mean I cried so much and um I think once I faced uh, the realization that I lost the baby and stuff, um, exactly 24 hours after I had found out a bit about the miscarriage, um, I started a natural miscarriage at home, and I was actually in this room, and this used to be my stamp room, and I got up from the table to walk into the living room to tell Stephen something, um, and he had stayed home that day to help me that Friday. Um, to help me through the miscarriage and you know we were just having a hard time with it um, and all of a sudden I felt a pop and I mean it just like I could hear it I heard it pop I felt it pop and I knew that um, that I was miscarrying at that point point. Um, and that started at 11 like 11:30 that day um, and it went until about 6 p.m. and it felt like early labor um, and I was on the ground doing the cat back thing and you know walking back and forth constantly um, the pain was it wasn't horrible but it was kind of intense too um, and you know tons of bleeding and um, all that but and I think I know when I passed the baby um, that's I will never forget that and it's something that anybody that goes through that and you think you know it you'll never it'll never leave you it's hard it's something it's hard to talk about um, but so but everything was fine and we waited a couple months to start trying um, we started trying again in November um, I didn't get pregnant in November but I got pregnant in December so it took us two months the second time um, but, you know, so, well, I'm going to try to read this poem to you guys again. <laughs> Hopefully I get through it this time. Uh, again, it's called, I'll Be There from Your Little Angel. Daddy, please don't look so sad. Mama, please don't cry. Because I am in the arms of Jesus and he sings me lullabies. Please try not to question God. Don't think he is unkind. Don't think he sent me to you and then changed his mind. You see, I am a special child, and I'm needed up above. I'm a special gift you gave him, the product of your love. I'll always be there with you, and watch the sky at night. Find the brightest star that's gleaming. That is my halo's bright, brilliant light. You'll see me in the morning frost, the mist, your windows pane. That's me in the summer showers. I'll be dancing in the rain. When you feel a little breeze from a gentle wind that blows, that's me. I'll be there planting a kiss on your nose. When you see children playing and your heart feels a little tug, that's me. I'll be there giving your heart a little hug. So daddy, please don't look so sad. Mommy, don't cry. I'm in the arms of Jesus and he's singing me lullabies. So I love that poem and helped me get through it. 
but like I said, I mean, it took me months on end, um, and there was not a day during the pregnancy with Grant that I was not on edge, and a lot of people were like, oh, when you get past, you know, the 12-week point, you'll, you'll feel a lot better, and you know what? I didn't, um, and then whenever, you know, I was even in the third trimester, I was still on edge, and I knew that there was stuff that could go wrong, but you know, and I didn't know why I had to have the C-section, um, but then come to find out, I didn't know it until I watched the labor video, that the cord was around his neck twice, um, it could have killed him if I would have pushed him out, you know, and, you know, what, he came four weeks early, I didn't know why that either, but if the cord was that tight already, then it could have killed him in the womb, you know, I mean, you just, you don't know why things happen, but, I mean, you know, I know that this, the baby that I lost is up in heaven with God, and, um, I still think about that baby and, you know, all that, but if there are any questions you guys have or you want to talk with me about your miscarriage or anything you've been through or, you know, not being able to try to conceive and, you know, all that, you know. I mean, it's very hard, and a lot of people don't realize, you know, that there's a lot of people going through this. So, if you guys need anything, just feel free to um, email me or, you know, message me or whatever. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.